All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR here, and in this video, I'm going to give you my impressions for Death Stranding. So, first thing that needs to be addressed before I get into the actual impressions, let's back up and kind of summarize the history of my perspective with this game, Death Stranding, um, going back to the time when it was announced, right? And because some people like to claim that I'm just hating on this game. When you say somebody is just hating, that means they have no reason, no rationale, no explanation of why they dislike the game. Like they just, like I just randomly woke up in the morning, spun a wheel full of games, and I, I landed, randomly landed on Death Stranding and said, hey, I'm gonna hate on this game for the next three years or dislike this game for the next three years. Not what happened whatsoever. When Death Stranding was announced and we finally saw a gameplay, the gameplay simply looked boring to me. The game did not look good. If a game, if you observe a game, if you do an eye test on a game and it does not look good to you, that's not called hating. That's called an observation. But for some of you, apparently when a game does not look good and a person doesn't like it, you think they're hating. That's not hating. That's someone using their brain and using an eye test to analyze what they've seen of this game, because that's what we do when we see gameplay. You analyze it and say, based on what's been shown, based on what's been shown, knowing myself as a gamer, do I find this game entertaining, fun, interesting? And my answer to all of those things was no. But for some reason, people think that's hating. And I don't understand that. That's like you seeing a game that you think doesn't look good. It just looks like a bad game. And people are saying you're hating for that. I don't understand that. So I said I'm going to rent Death Stranding. And the reason I'm going to rent it is because I still stand by the, by the stance that unless you play a game, even though you did an eye test of the gameplay, you cannot 100% say this game is bad or this game is boring or this game is whatever your previous thoughts were. You still have to play the game to confirm it. I stand by that because it's like if I don't play the game and I say it looks boring, people are going to say you didn't play the game. Now, if I play the game after I said it looks boring, people say well, if you think the, if you thought the game looked boring, why did you play it? You can't win. You, you can't win. It makes no sense. Either way you play it or not, people have a problem with you for your thoughts. But my stance, because I stay consistent with everything I say, my stance is I'm still going to play this game to confirm if I'm wrong or not. Maybe I'm wrong. I have virtually never been wrong about any game that I thought looked good or bad. Usually if I think a game looks good or bad before before seeing it, then, you know, that you that's usually what is confirmed to me. It usually stays that way. And I don't believe confirmation bias or your thoughts on a game prior to playing it really has anything to do with it because if a game is good, regardless of what you thought before, I don't think your thoughts are going to change how you feel about it when you play it. I really don't believe that. So, now that we got that out the way, let's actually talk about the game. So, first thing, let's touch on the story. Now, even though I said I'm about four hours in, which is still very early in the game, there are a lot of story and story concepts that are addressed very early. And a lot of these concepts I like, and I found them really interesting. Things like uh, time fall. BTs, Dooms, The Bridge Baby. I think The Bridge Baby is extremely weird and I think it could have been replaced by something else, but I get it. Also, Sam being a repatriate or uh, re a repatriate, you know, and if you know the meaning of that word, you get how that you get how that ties in to the concept of the game being about reconnecting America and everything like that. So I did think, you know, that was an all those were interesting concepts and, and it was clever, right? And the voice acting is amazing. Now, even though I've always said I don't like the overuse of actors 
being in video games, right? And the reason I've always had that stance is to me, it breaks the immersion. Because when you have a whole bunch of actors in video games, I don't see what I don't see the the character in the game. I don't see the original character of Sam Bridges, for example, right? I don't see Sam Bridges. You know who I see? I see Daryl from Walking Dead. That that's who I see. I can't help it, right? Or I see whatever his character was in other movies he's been in. Like he was in, was it Blade 1 or 2? Can't remember. But I see all the characters that he's been in before. So I ha that's why I have an issue with overuse of real actors. And there's a plethora of real actors in, in this. And I'd rather you just create, you know, original characters and not use the likeness of others. And I've always ha had that stance, right? But the voice acting is amazing. So I, I, I get it, right? There's also, you know, there's... We know this is a Kojima game, so there's plenty of metaphors, plenty of symbolism of Brexit and America, right? But there's also the overuse of symbolism. Like, he symbolizes things to death in, 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 in this game, especially early on. Like, taking a piss is not just taking a piss. The most simple things he, like, over he like overanalyzes and over, you know, just convolutes it and make, makes it way too uh, complex. Taking a shit can't just be taking a shit in a Kojima game. No, it has to mean more. Taking a piss has to mean more. Doing every little minute thing has to mean more. And e even the naming of the characters has to mean so much. And he literally just abuses you with symbolism and, and metaphors at every turn and it's like bro you can turn you can tone it down a little bit when when, when you use it too much it's not subtle and, and clever anymore right when when you metaphorize everything and symbolize everything then the the whole game is just you know it, it kind of becomes like a joke almost right so like i said Story, there was several story concepts there that I did enjoy early on. Let's get to the gameplay, right? And, and by the way, you know, the, the, let's actually touch on the visuals. Visuals, um, they look pretty good. As I said, the game is not, you know, native 4K. We shouldn't expect that. Um, the environment looked beautiful. Uh, the HDR is pretty decent from, from what I see. Not the best implementation. The character models are pre pretty good. Uh, from, you know, all, all the characters look, look pretty good. Um, I think the environment definitely lo looks, looks the best, I would say. Um, I, you know, I, I like the, uh, you know, the vibrancy and, and everything like that. Textures are okay. So visually, it's, it's a good looking game. Uses the Decima engine. Um, we've seen what the Decima engine has done before. So it's a good looking game. Now let's get to the gameplay. So the, the first, like, Two hours are just like riddled with moments of like taking control away from the player, a whole bunch of cutscenes, uh, a whole bunch of music playing, which apparently I was looking for a way to turn off the music. And it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like you can turn off the music, which is wildly annoying. Because what if I, I don't know I don't know if this music is copyright, and if I upload some gameplay, might I get a copyright? Or if I just don't want to listen to the freaking music that you that you uh, have set in the game, I just find that annoying. I went into the audio menu, and there was no way to turn down the music. I've never seen that in any video game where that there's no way to turn down the music. That's that's just very strange to me and I found that annoying. Uh along with all the all the cut scenes of uh in the first like two and a half hours of just taking the control away from um from the player. Um and and now the gameplay. I can't do this gameplay. This gameplay is absolute dog shit to me. And the gameplay is literally Walking, hiking, and a whole bunch of micromanagement in and of itself in doing that. So you're delivering a corpse, for example, or packages. You have to constantly, you know, um, control your balance. You got to... Oh, my God. I, it's not fun. Listen, if you're one of those people who likes to do micromanagement and and likes ex and you think the best part of gaming is exploration, 
I guess you would like this shit. I think people who like that type of stuff are flat out weirdos. Okay? I don't know how anybody could find micromanaging walking and hiking fun. That's not fun. That is not what I play video games for. That shit is just weird. How you have to constantly micromanage how you walk, you know, how you run, uh, you know, control your balance and 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 consider the terrain, um, plot your points uh, to, for this for this journey, and. and, and <laughs> It's, it's literally a, a hiking and walking game. Like, and, and the game makes it very clear. Because a lot of people thought Kojima was just trolling you uh, if you think this game is just about making deliveries. No. The, this game is a delivery game. And the game makes it very clear. Through the trophies, through the, through the dialogue, through your... You're evaluated at the end of each delivery based on how good of a delivery you ma delivery man you were that's what you're evaluated on how well you deliver packages that's not a joke so to me that is not fun there's nothing interesting in that gameplay to me that i would want to keep playing this game this game definitely serves better as a sci-fi horror thriller than a game. It should definitely be a movie. I would watch this movie. I, I, I would probably like this movie. And we've seen from recent reports, Kojima wants to actually get into directing movies. So I, I will tell you flat out, I would go, I would even go to the theater to see this movie. But the gameplay is not good enough for me to want to continue to play this game to see what happens. Because no, I'm not interested in hiking. I'm not interested in, in plotting points and evaluating the map and the terrain to see what's the best route for me to take to get from point A to point B. That's not my, that's not fun to me. It's no, so uh, uh, everybody has been saying in quotations, it's not fun, it's, it, you know, it depends on what type of person. It's not fun at all, at all, okay? It's, it's not, it's boring. It's tedious. It's monotonous. It's annoying. The gameplay is literally annoying have to, having to constantly press L1 and, and L2 or R1 and R2 constantly to get your balance. I don't want to do that for 50 hours. I, I absolutely don't. I will lose my mind if I have to do that for 50 hours. That's micromanagement to the fullest. And, and not to mention the micromanagement that you have to do with the inventory of like putting something on your back or having it having it in your right your right hand or, or your your left hand and back like no 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 the combat isn't great right like no bro and yes I admit I didn't get that far but I'm sorry. I think it's a ridiculous request. It's an absolutely ridiculous request. And it's irresponsible for you as a video game developer to create a game that is not even enjoyable four hours in. I don't even give, I don't give most games that type of like, that, that, that type of leniency. But because I know a lot of you think that, you know, I have it out for this game. Listen, if I'm not enjoying a game by two hours in, that shit is usually out the fucking door. Four hours? I gave this game twice what I would give any other game. So, and Kojima said it himself, the game doesn't really get enjoyable, you know, till later on, like around 10 hours or it starts to open up. Okay, cool. Most games start to open up around, you know, a little bit further. We get that. But it should at least be enjoyable. The enjoyable, fun aspects of the game should be there at the core very early on. There is no medium, no medium that I would go to that I would tolerate the fun or the slightly enjoyable part of it coming that later in a game. Like, bro, I'm not wasting that much of my time to finally get to something that might possibly be good. I'm not doing it. That is a joke. 
And that's irresponsible as a game designer. That's bad game design. That's just bad game design. So listen, people could think I'm hating all you want. I've given valid reasons why this game didn't look fun or good to me before. And I've listed the reasons now. You can call it just hating all you want, but for years I've listed reasons. I haven't just blindly said, oh, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm hating and I've never given a reason. No, I've made video after video given reasons, explanations, and I've played the game now and I'm giving you more from my experience. If you can't accept that, then you're probably a Kojima cocksucker. I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, literally like one hour to, into the game, the man plasters his, man, listen, <laughs> I, I've, I've, I've given my reasons. And I'm somebody who's played, I've played and beaten every Metal Gear Solid game from one to five, the main, the main ones. And I liked all of them besides five because we know how, you know, five was a mess. So for people to say that, oh, I just randomly wanted to hate on the, this game or randomly hate, wanted to hate on Kojima after I beat all the Metal Gear Solid games, what reason would I just have to randomly hate on him or his game? Could it be, could it possibly be that this game is just not good to me? It's just, could that possibly be it? After I played and supported five games and beat them all, could it be that he's just simply made a game that's not good? Nah, no, nah, that can't be it. Y'all refuse to believe that one. Y'all don't want to believe that. You know, because that would be, that would include y'all losing faith in y'all Lord and Savior. But those are my impressions for Death Stranding. Um, I will be returning this game ever so promptly back to Redbox. I'm glad I did not uh, buy this and I was, you know, really right about how I felt about this game. I wasn't like, this was not me trying to con necessarily confirm what I thought to be right. I wanted to confirm my thoughts. Yeah, I wanted to know whether I was right or wrong, but this wasn't just to confirm my thoughts. But y'all gonna believe what y'all want anyway. So those are my impressions. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, make sure you hit the like button or, you know, a lot of you probably hit the dislike button. Who the fuck cares? That doesn't hurt me. Um, you know, hit the notification bell. And so you can know anytime I am uh, upload a video. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you're not. I'll check y'all next time. I'm out of here. Peace.